pulled off like na 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 na. I pulled off like na 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 na. All right. So this is TK here with TK's Garage. And for you guys that are asking, this is an old one. Um, a little quick fix I have being just picking up this GMC Envoy is a quick app called Gauge. Now it does require an OBD2 Bluetooth uh, connection, uh, which I can show you guys it right here. It looks <clears throat> something like this, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I will put a link in the description. It's pretty simple. You plug in, you open this app, and then this will communicate with your iPad or phone. I kinda like having an iPad here. I mount one here. I usually will have something mounted right here as well. So I have, uh, the, you know, the full access to be able to do whatever I want with it. And it's pretty simple. It's basically plug and play. Um, you can also use this this uh, OBD2 plug. And let me get you guys down here. So give you guys a better view. All right, and you see I got a little blinking light there, which means it's connected, okay? And then up here, I would just tap connect. <clears throat> It'll connect to the device. And that's pretty much it. It'll take a minute or two for it to connect because it's gonna talk back and forth. You can also use other apps and you can see it's gonna retrieve that data. Now when I accelerate, you can see the RPMs work. There's a multitude of gauges that you can select. You can go through uh, and there's all different types that you can select, you know, speed sensors, oxygen controls, all of this stuff is available. It all varies by vehicle, but this is compatible with most cars. I've used it on my BMWs before, so it's actually really good, especially if you get into a situation where like this one, I'm seeing that there's gauge issues. Now, I don't know what order I'm gonna publish these in, but I can see that the gauge is off by 10. I know the oil pressure is not there. I know the heat's not there, or is the temperature gauge is not there as well, being that it's like almost 102 degrees out today. So it is what it is. But just showing you guys that, and it's a cool thing, man. You can go in and it's, what is it, gauged? Let me type it in here. You open the app and that's pretty much it. It will give you your gauges. You can move the gauges around. Um, you can add other ones. You can see where my temp is. Like I told you, look at the temperature gauge. It's at 190 there, but over here it's wrong. Okay. So it's just as common with GM vehicles, especially these trucks that these gauges, the, the step motor goes bad. Look at the, the RPMs, same thing. So everything's pretty much off by 10 here. Okay. Um, so I'm going to try to address that. I don't know what the brake lights or brake sensors are lit up for. Again, I don't know what order these videos will go in. So maybe I've already addressed the brakes. I don't know, but we'll see how this goes. I'm just getting this thing. Uh, but I just wanted to do that. Um, and when I get time, I'll edit and put a link in the description for you guys if you guys wanna pick up one of these. Not the iPad, but the, the uh, Innova OBD2 uh, code reader, which is kind of cool. You know, I think there's even, let me see if I can get into, uh, yeah, there's another app that I can use with this. It's called Repair Pro. Um, you can see here, I can go in continue and then i can actually run this for codes yes i do and now it's going to try to connect now what's cool about this is i don't know if it'll read abs codes on this truck gms are real finicky or at least these trucks with the five three liter v8 the ecus are very finicky uh with these bluetooth drivers i think the only one that does work is blue driver i will link to that in the description as well uh if you want to be able to get like abs codes and things of that nature now it could also be tripping because uh, the truck is running and you're really supposed to have this in the on position, not with it running, but we will see if it's able to connect to it and go. It kind of helps if you're using the right version of the app. So we're gonna diagnose. You can see it's already retrieving the data now. I was using an older version of the app. <clears throat> There's a newer version. So I went ahead and updated and then it actually uploads to the cloud. Right now it's gonna pull all of the relevant codes um, no, the check engine light's not on. The truck is actually off. And then you'll get a thing. You can get rescan or erase codes. You can see I currently have no codes available. It's not reading that ABS code. You can see it says service brake system. But like I said, for most parts, as far as engine knocks, misfires, all of that stuff, evaporation issues, this app actually works really good with that module. So link in the description. <laughs>